No one, truly no one, deserves this owner more than Todd. His generosity, his willingness to take risk, and his uh, consummate ability to execute even the most demanding <coughs> ideas with apparent ease inspire not only students, but also guys who have been at it for decades and decades. Way back when his vision first emerged at two by four by six by eight house, it was his unique ability to publish the manifesto in the form of a building that compelled me. And countless others to begin counting on Tom to pave the way. Now, finally, even the AIA can't deny him. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Tom. We are very fortunate to count you as a fellow faculty member and colleague. Thanks, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'd like to propose toast again. Congratulations, Tom. <coughs> <Thank you. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> I, I can deal with people coming at me. I can't deal with compliments. <laughs> uh, it's, um, what can I say? It's uh, an amazing honor. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm doing something I love and I've been infatuated with for my life. And so I, I have no idea why I deserve or don't deserve this. It's, um, it's been a love affair. Um, I love teaching. I like asking questions. Um, I like spending the day today, <laughs> like I always do. And, uh, it's endless. It's um, you can never ever. It's humbling. You can never achieve the final. There is no final end to this. It, it's it's a continuing process, and you're always learning something every day. And it's um, I have to tell you for the, the, all the young people, the people that are just starting this profession. It's the most absolutely, um, it can be, beyond also very painful at times, of course, that we all know. Um, it's the most insanely rewarding, incredibly deeply satisfying profession I could imagine. And I, I literally feel like the luckiest person in the world, and I'm, I'm really been just, I'm insanely lucky with, with this fantastic family and with friends around me and this profession that I absolutely love that gives me so much back. And it's, um, give to it, you're going to get a lot back out of it. It's just an amazing adventure. And it's, um, it's, it's just, um, you're a kid your whole life. You're just making stuff, really. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm looking at it going, wow, well, that's my shit. <laughs> and uh, it's just fantastic. But anyway, um, thank you so much. And um, it's a real pleasure. It's really an incredible honor. We have to wait a while. <laughs> Start at 50. I think I was 49 when I get the first building with an elevator. <laughs> I remember at the time talking to probably uh, Wolf Pricks and Craig Hodgins and a whole bunch of people, and it got to be uh, we couldn't talk to each other about getting work anymore unless it had at least one elevator in it. It didn't count. <laughs> and, uh, it's, just a, it's definitely a, a distance run, not a sprint. And, uh, kind of unusual, maybe, for probably your generation more than mine. Everybody expects to have an accomplishment when you're, when you're still a kid. And, but um, it's, it's, first, it seems really frustrating. When I was 40 or 45, I was um, getting a little out of control. I was just extremely kind of angry, not being able to do something I wanted to do. But then you get a little older and you realize, well, actually, you do have to kind of pay your dues and kind of learn slowly and develop yourself. Because then when you have the opportunities, you've had to have the experience. And it's, um, you realize that it makes sense in some way. This is an incredibly complicated. You have to do so much. Um, you have to have some talent and design that goes without saying. You have to after you have some sort of personality that gets along with people. I wasn't at the best at that for a long time. Um, meaning you have to get along with the world, and a lot of times to do the work, you don't get along with the world. You, you have to have your own sense of things. And it's not in sync at all. It's very much out of sync, and that's why you're respected in a way. You have your own take on something, and um, you have to learn how to negotiate that, and all of you will do it differently. You have to rely on your own personality and believe in yourself. And, uh, 
really, really believe in yourself. If I just say one thing that you have to do is just, um, there's no getting around that. You have to decide what you believe in, what you stand for, what your values are, um, and fight it out. And you'll be fine. No one can tell you how to do it. There's no answers. Nobody can help you. You're on your own. You're completely, <laughs> totally on your own. <laughs> and uh, you'll figure it out. And um, but you, really, no one can answer anything for you other than maybe give you some advice and steer you a little bit. But finally, it's up to you. And if you believe in yourself, you'll do it. Great. Anyway, salute to you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.